Look what I found. I found my good clip-ins and I'm about to curl them all. Show you what this looks like when I'm done. It's thick hair too. These are either Be uh, Bellamy or Luxie, but it's a ton of hair. I was gonna show y'all something really quick. If you're gonna use tape-ins, so here's my regular hair in all of its lack of glory. In I mean, not tape-ins, clip-ins. Instead of backcombing your hair, so see how flat it is up here? It's actually not even that flat. Number one, I've crimped a little bit of it, but um, I also like blow, dr blow dried it like backwards, basically the opposite way that the hair grows. So instead of backcombing your hair, here's the crimper. Look what it does. Are you kidding me? Like, it creates such volume in your hair. If you don't have the Kegler or crimper, you really do need it. But it's so much better than backcombing your hair and like, because think about what you're doing when you're backcombing your hair, right? You're taking your hair and you're pushing it the other direction. Like, that's going to cause breakage. It's just not healthy for your hair. And then you got to like brush through all that at the end of the day. That's a whole ass mess too. So get the Kegler or crimper. Look at all that volume. Literally just a couple crimps and you are done. I have Okay, look. So see how it's like flat right there. Hold on. See, I'm gonna show you what the door shut. Okay, so see how it's like flat. Just crimp. I always bite it with my teeth. But see how it just literally gives you so much volume. So I do this all over my whole entire head. Uh, when I have t um, sewn-in extensions, I do it in between the layers of sew-in, but it creates that little crimp right there, and that's what you hook your little... I found, like, five packages of clip-ins last night. Literally, like, two of them, look at this, are brand freaking new, too. Bam! And then I have my Luxie set, my Bellamy set. I'm like, what a jackpot! So, canceled my order on Amazon, saved me a shit ton of money. That I didn't need to be spending on clip-ins anyways. But I'm going to wear clip-ins this week while I shoot. And Okay, look. See how it's like just, first of all, that's like 90% of my head. But see how it's like, I cut this side, so this side I didn't do anything with. Like you'll have one random long strand like way down here and the rest of it's all gross. So, but like what am I supposed to do? Cut it to my ears? I don't know. So this part I cut earlier though. I was just tired of looking at it like all choppy. But I guess I should like leave it choppy because otherwise you don't want like a... Not that this would be a blunt cut because it's literally like this thick of a row of hair is my entire head. But um, you want it to blend. And I curled all the other extensions. I just get tired of like looking at it, you know? Like, ugh. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut it off. So it is what it is. I'll be able to. It's so thin I can just blend it in, honestly. And then I have this. Okay, listen, my kid has friends over and they're playing upstairs this like, it's like a steering wheel video game on his computer. Oh my God, it's driving me bananas. Like I'm trying to keep my cool, but I literally feel like I'm gonna lose my mind in a minute. I went up there and I'm like, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? And he's like, <laughs> he's just like living his best life, just playing his little game. It has like gas pedals and stuff on the floor. And then I felt bad for like being so annoyed, but also it sounds like somebody's literally like, I was going to say cutting holes in your attic, but it's too soon for that. No, it sounds like somebody's like 
clanking around in your attic or in the wall because his room's like right above my bathroom. Anyways, that's where I got sidetracked. Okay, back to this. So I'm just popping these in real quick. Like this isn't even like probably where I'd regularly put them. I just want to show you guys really fast. And then I'm going to film like a video tomorrow when I'm actually cute. I have way more pieces of the 1B instead of the 1. The 1 is like... But anyways, I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is just to pop these little... So my silver clips... Oh shit, this is my big... No, it's just a 3. Um, my silver clips being it is a 1, like a black. And my... Literally, you just pop them on. Hear it? Right, right. Boom. Done. I always split it with my ear. Also, I got this really cute headband and I put it on and it makes my ears poke out, but it makes me look like my niece. Look. Isn't it so cute? And I'm like, dang, I look just like Maddie. Um, anyways, so see how awesome it is? Just a little bit of club ends. Anyways, I'll keep going even though I have nowhere to go and I need to go back to packing all my orders. Plus, I definitely can't stay in here. That sound's going to drive me nuts of them upstairs. But you got to focus on the positive. At least they're not out like running the streets. They went thrifting. He went and got me groceries. He brought me. Should we do this in a live video? Anyways, he brought me lunch. Where did this last one go? It's called brick laying. When you kind of overlap them over each other. Where you don't put them in like really any rhyme or reason. So, and my good, good hair, like this isn't even my great hair. My great hair is right here. I'm going to use it tomorrow and show you guys everything. But I curled these. This is my bougie expensive hair. And I curled all these with a wand. And I'll put this in tomorrow. This is my not that expensive hair. And it's a little bit shorter. This is way longer hair. So this is probably 24 inches. And this is like 20 or 22, maybe 20. Definitely between 20 and 22. But anyways, so you just put one more row up here. I don't know if I have any dark black. I have a lot of 1B. Also, this is what I store my good extensions in. It's freaking phenomenal. I knew I had them here too. So I always use a wet brush and start at the bottom. And brush up. This is my good hair. Not the hair I have in my head, but this hair and then that. Oh, I put it over there. Um, the black that I curled and this is my really good hair. These come in a two, a two, a four, a four, and three threes. And then I think there's some side pieces around here somewhere in this two probably. But this is like a little bit lighter than what I have on my head. God, why did I ever not wear clips? I guess because like you can't put your hair up as much and I do wear my hair in a ponytail a lot. But if I start wearing my hair down more, maybe I'll like get cute more instead of like just one day a week. So I do like how when I get all cute, I'm like, oh my God, you're so pretty. What happened? <laughs> but then every other day I'm like, fuck it, I'm in my cat suit. <laughs> Living my best life. I'm literally even wearing sparkles. Okay, I'll link all this hair stuff, everything. Even this little thing that I use to hold my extensions, which I ordered a new one today. It's same, it's by Hairworks. Also, I'm letting my hair sit on the bathtub like this so it keeps my curls tight so tomorrow I can have super tight curly hair. Um, and then I'll show y'all how I'm going to curl this in a minute. I kind of like my hair this little length. And then I have another set of extensions too. If I feel like untangle them, basically if I get finished packing all the orders tonight, I may untangle them all and then I may cut them in like a long bob and then maybe try that out tomorrow too. Anyways, I'll link this too. Uh, it's from Amazon, but this is how I travel with my really good hair. Um, because a lot of it, the good, the good hair is kind of expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I saw some TikToks the saying that some Amazon extensions were like $24 and amazing, but like put that stuff on a curling iron and see how amazing it is. I paid a couple hundred bucks for my really good hair from like Luxie or Bellamy, but it's worth it. I've had it. Okay, look, I tie it in like this and then it's like you wrap it in like if it's in the bed, like it's a baby. Wrap it up like this. And then you tie this around here. <clears throat> they are so loud upstairs. God, I have to get all those bathrooms driving me nuts in here. Like, I cannot hear myself think. Okay. I'm going to tie it up like this. Better hurry up, woman. Okay. 
and then you can tie it at the bottom too but you can fold it in half and travel with it just like this and now all your extensions are not going to get tangled great little invention i need another clip right there though <laughs> okay and you guys already know i have a bald spot at the back of my head which has always been a thing so no matter what extensions you can see a bald spot that's why i used hair powder i didn't use any hair powder today so i'm just going to show you how well this covers even before i use my hair powder okay so there you go this is what it looks like Remember, I used the Kikiluru crimper to give me a bunch of volume up here, and then I'm just going to fill in this spot later on with some hair powder. But look at this. And then just pick up your hair like this. Just looks so good. It's so full. Story, and I swear I'll shut up. That's also without doing anything to the top layer of my hair. So I have not curled this to blend it in. I've not done anything. I literally just took my frizzy hair y'all just saw and clipped in these extensions in like literally two minutes and that's it. Like I've done nothing else. So if you haven't jumped on this man wagon, which you waiting for, sis? I'll go link some now for you. Kiki Lure Crimper, a good set of clip-ins and some box hair dye. Where you at? Number one, thank y'all for the nice comments about my hair. Um, I love that y'all think it's like growing back, but actually it's the opposite. Like it's fallen out a lot more lately, probably because of the divorce stuff and the trial shit. Anyways, um, so the way that I'm able to make it look like it's not though, is number one, I use box dye. It dyes my, my actual scalp a darker tone so you can't see how like see-through my hair is. Um, about probably four weeks from now, I'll show you right before I dye my hair. So you can see like if you're looking from here, you can see the curvature on the back of my head if I don't use hair powder or um, the box dye. Like it's all an illusion, guys. Also, I use the Kiki Luru crimper. Otherwise, my hair is literally flat on my head like a wet dog. Um, what else? These are 20 inch extensions. They're like 120 gram. Now, 120 gram is fine. But it's not 160 or 150, and you can definitely tell the difference, and 150, 160 is just so much better. But this feels great. Sorry. This feels great. I mean, it's fine for right now. I It would make me feel weird to not feel the thickness that I'm used to as far as my hair goes. It looks really thick to you guys, which is great because, like I said, and I do kind of like that little, like, shorter length a little bit. Anyways, um, but I do prefer the 150, 160 gram. When you're buying hair on Amazon, the trick is that cheaper hair is A, going to melt in the curling iron, and B, it's going to tangle. Even if it doesn't melt in the curling iron, um, it's going to like frizz from the curling iron a little bit if it's synthetic hair, if it's like cheaper hair. So you have to get human hair, Remy hair, it just has to be like virgin hair. And then number two, the shittier the hair extensions are, the more they're going to tangle. If they are good hair extensions, it'll be harder for them to tangle. So just take care of them. Once they're tangled, they're kind of screwed. So take care of your stuff. You won't have to worry about it. But I'm definitely loving this whole clip-in vibe right now. Until I go outside and want to put my hair in a ponytail probably. <laughs> so tomorrow when I actually like get dressed, get dressed... I'll show you guys um, the other hair extensions. I think they're a little bit longer. and But these do feel pretty damn good. They're just thinner than what I'm used to. So if I wanted to put my hair in a ponytail, I would probably have to be mindful. Yeah, can't see anything, see? So looks pretty good though. And then I just ran the curl and iron through it real quick just to blend it all together. But I mean, it really does freaking blend right. I don't know. Best part about clippings too, like if it's in the wrong spot, you literally just clip it back to your head. Whereas like with my tape or with my tapings just piss me off altogether. Um, but with my sew-ins, like whenever half the freaking weft started coming loose and I was in Houston a couple weeks ago, like I could do nothing. I even tried to Instacart bobby pins to our Airbnb and the lady didn't bring them. So I was literally just screwed. And in all my pictures, I would like pull my weft forward, snap a picture real fast and then move and it would drop. So I feel like I'm a little bit it's gonna walk down here and be like mom what are you doing i'm trying all the foundations to tell you what i think <laughs> this one on this cheek is really good it's actually the age perfect but i'm trying to figure out how it's gonna dry these are the cc creams from it cosmetics and they are very thick 
and way too light for my skin. But we'll see.